Today I'm going to introduce different types of direct energy conversion strategies or DEC. The names of different technicals are very similar to each other. However, sometimes they are fundamentally different. The similarity between them may be confusing. Some of them refer to electromechanical couplings. The, some others exhibit thermal electrical coupling and some others uh, show photoelectrical couplings. Let's start. The first one is the piezoelectricity or the piezoelectric effect. The prefix piezo means to push in Greek. The piezoelectric effect is the generation of electricity from pushing a um, piezo material. The inverse effect is the motion of an actuator when a voltage is applied to it. A very cute example of this phenomenon is the shining shoes of kids. When uh, the kids are playing and jumping, the kinetic energy of them is converted to the electrical energy using the piezoelectric, uh, piezoelectric material which is buried in their shoes. Using the piezoelectric uh, materials, we can directly generate electricity without any moving parts from any dynamic source of energy like uh, the wind or the ocean waves or from the human body organs. Pierre Curie and his brother first demonstrated the piezoelectricity in 1880. Piezo materials are a subset of dielectrics that are insulators which can be polarized under the effect of an electric field. The second one is the pyroelectric material. The prefix pyro means fire or heat. So the pyroelectric effect is the generation of electricity from temporal rate of change of temperature. So when the temperature of a body changes with time, the thermal energy is converted to electricity. Pyro materials are subset of or subclass of piezo materials as you see in the figure. The third one is the ferroelectricity. The ferroelectric materials are a subset of pyroelectric materials. The prefix ferro means iron in Latin. In fact, the ferroelectric materials has nothing to do with iron. Ferroelectric materials possess spontaneous reversible polarization. So that is the generation of polarization that is reversible. They have the highest piezoelectric performance. The next one is the thermoelectric effect. The prefix thermo means heat. The thermoelectric is the direct conversion of thermal energy to electricity using the Peltier, the Seebeck, or the Thomson effects. Pyroelectric effect deals with the time change of temperature, while the thermoelectric produ effect produces the electricity from the spatial change of temperature or the temperature gradient. The inverse process is the appearance of a temperature gradient when a voltage is applied. The thermoelectric uh, effect can be used to construct the thermoelectric refrigerators in a reverse manner. The next one is the triboelectric. The prefix tribo means friction. You may be familiar with the tribology uh, which is another field of science. The triboelectric effect refers to the direct generation of electricity when two in-contact surfaces are separated from each other. A classical example is the electrically charged plastic comb when you rub it on your hair. The spark which appears when you move on your carpet is another result of this effect. The next one is the flexoelectric. The prefix flexo means bending. 
the flexoelectric material is a subclass of the piezo material which can generate electricity not only from the stress but also from the strain gradients the piezoelectricity is the polarization due to the stress tensor which originates from the strain itself uh, the, but the f f flexoelectricity refers to the polarization of the material due to the strain gradients or the spatial change of the strain. So the polarization vector in flexoelectric materials is related to the stress as well as the strain gradient via the piezoelectric, which is a third order tensor, and the flexoelectric coefficient which is a force order tensor, respectively. The next one is the photoelectric or the photovoltaic effect. However, there are differences between the photoelectric and the photovoltaic effects, but the prefix photo refers to light. Simply speaking, the photoelectric effect is the direct generation of energy when an electromagnetic wave such as a light strikes the body. The photoelectric effect converts the thermal energy coming from sun to the electrical energy using the photovoltaic cells. These effects are a result of shooting of photons to a material to excite the electrons. In the photoelectric effect, electrons are emitted to space, but in the photovoltaic effect, electrons remain in the sample to generate electricity in a junction. The next one is the magneto-hydrodynamics. The prefix magneto refers to the magnetic field and hydro refers to the fluid flow. So the magneto-hydrodynamics is the generation of electricity from the kinetic energy and the thermal energy of a moving fluid which is sensitive to the magnetic field. An MHD generator uses the Brighton cycle to directly convert the kinetic, the waste kinetic energy and thermal energy of a power plant to electricity. The working fluid may be a plasma or the seawater uh, or the liquid metals. An MHD generator works based on the Faraday's induction law. The next one is the electrohydrodynamics. Again, hydro refers to the fluid flow, but this time electro refers to the electric field. This strategy uh, refers to the generation of electricity from the motion of an um, electrically charged fluid. This effect is the result of interaction of the electric field and a moving fluid. The reversed process is to convert the electrical energy to the kinetic energy of a fluid. Uh, this is a common way in uh, nanotechnology to construct micropomes without moving uh, parts, and uh, this phenomenon is the basis of the electrophoresis or the electrosmosis effects. The next one is the fuel cells. Fuel cells directly convert the chemical energy to the electrical energy from a fuel. Batteries has a limited lifespan, but fuel cells continuously generate power as long as the fuel or the hydrogen exists. Hydrogen is applied to the anode, the oxygen to the cathode, and the chemical reaction takes place electricity is generated so fuel cells are cells which consume fuels to produce electricity the next one is the thermionic the thermionic is the emission of electron due to the injection of energy or heat transfer after release of electrons an opposite sign charge appears and this will lead to the generation of electricity. 
A thermionic converter consists of a hot emitter electrode and a cold collector electrode. The hot emitter emits the vaporized electron using the thermionic emission concept in a plasma which is located between the hot and the cold electrodes. And the cold uh, collector collects the vaporized emitted electrons and condensate them. This way the uh, a current of electricity appears. The next uh, concept is the thermoacoustics. The prefix thermo refers to heat and acoustics means sound. So the thermoacoustics is the conversion of energy of um, an acoustic wave to electricity. The thermoacoustic end pump can pump heat from two reservoirs using high amplitude acoustic sound waves, maybe coming from a loud uh, speaker. The reverse process uses heat to generate sound waves which can be converted to the electrical current using a mechanism like a microphone. The photoacoustics is the interaction of the sound waves because of the term acoustics and the light referring to the prefix photo. This process is something like the generation of sound waves due to the absorption of light.